Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. This week we're going to be doing something slightly a little bit different to the normal progression series and we're going to be doing our annual bank video on the account Dead Smithy. Uh, this is like the fourth year that we've done this now and it's a really nice way to look back on uh, you know, how the accounts progressed over the previous year and um, see what new items we've got. We're going to be looking at the, uh, obviously, the bank account. We're going to be looking at the seed vault because I store all of my seeds in there now. Um, we're going to be looking at what we've got in the player-owned house because if you follow the series, you know that I'm using the player-owned house as a really um, uh, kind of a, a mass storage spot because of all the things that you can keep, keep in there. And one of my account goals is actually to fill the player around house with every single slot that you can, you know, put stuff in there. Uh, we're also going to have a cheeky little look at the collection log because I know we did that last year round as well and um, see how we've progressed because some bosses we really have <laughs> made some moves on. Um, and um, looking back, I'd, I'd literally just been watching back last year's bank video and uh, we've over doubled our value in bank. So I think without further ado, let's let's move over to the bank chest. Um, oh, it's gone into my herb one, first of all. So first things first, I'm the realist. Second, uh, if you look at that bank value, just shy of 367 million. Uh, I know that's probably not a lot to some, but um, that's a lot to me because last year that wasn't even 150 million. Um, but starting off, we've got our initial uh, tab, which is kind of stuff that I use on the regular um, or just fun bits that maybe I throw on through it at Fashionscape, like the uh, the Karamja Monkey and the Shoulder Parrot. Uh, we've got our cash stack, which is looking relatively healthy. healthy. Um, normally that's like 2 mil, <laughs> but where I've been doing a lot of Slayer lately, that's gone up to um, 7 mil, and I've still got quite a few things that I can out. Uh, but as you can see here, my nature rings are a little bit sad. Um, but we've got our Graceful set, which is the Trailblazer ornament kit, and I get asked that a lot about what um, graceful set that is. I then got my supplies for um, her, uh, her, uh, the birdhouse runs. Uh, then some implant jars. Uh, I probably could move a lot of those into. I've just realised something. Why my bank got a little bit messed up because I moved my Oculus. <laughs> there you go. We do it like that. Um, yeah, my bank got a little bit messed up because this thing doesn't store its spot when you take it out because I was doing some. Uh, B-roll stuff. Uh, anyway, um, I've got my cannon here as well. I've uh, got some stuff for clues. I've got the steel key ring, which is, again, I said it last year, I'll say it again, fantastic. It saves so many spots in your bank. Uh, then the bone crusher and then the ash sanctifier, which works the exact same way as a bone crusher. A lot of people don't know about this item um, that auto scatters ashes. So if you're doing like um, black demons or you're doing um, abyssal demons it will auto uh, scatter the ashes same how the way that the bone crusher works rune pouch currently got house teleport and uh, fire runes in there for like alkin um, ropes uh, shovels or spades uh, rakes so that's for when I need to do my kingdom run or if I'm doing clue scrolls uh, and then my herb sack um, my gear for doing seaweed um, as well with the diving apparatus and the seaweed spores. I've then got a quest cape, which I didn't have last time. Uh, I can't use that at the moment because I haven't done the new quest still. Uh, and then I've got my hit points cape, which uh, we got 99 hit points relatively recently, uh, which was the third 99, I think, on the account. Uh, we've then got our ecumenical keys and the shards that's from Nex that uh, I just haven't put into another tab yet. Uh, wilderness sword, because that's handy to have when you're doing clue scrolls, and an elite clue that I haven't done yet because I need to get the farmer's hat which can't be bothered. Uh, <laughs> long and short of it, can't be bothered. Um, before we jump in further as well, um, if you're not, if you are new around here, this first video you're watching, please do consider subscribing, drop a like. Uh, let me know in the comments section down below, in the past year, what are the three coolest items or most valuable items or items that mean so um, uh, mean a lot to you? What's the top three that you got in the past year? Have a think about it and drop it in the comments. Be interested to hear. But um, anyway, moving on to the next tab. This is the runes, teleport, jewellery, um, I guess rune crafting supplies, all that fun stuff. Um, what I like to do is have a lot of the teleports that I use uh, on the regular to hand when I open up my bank. Um, so I can just click and you know pick the ones that I want. But on this tab, um, we've got everything that goes from runes to uh, items that have teleports on to things that I use for... Um, Guardians of the Rift sort of with rune pouches uh, and then just rune crafting supplies and then a few bits and pieces down here like staves and crap like that and there's a few, uh, what do you call it, uh, diary rewards in here as well um, well I think all of them maybe 
Yeah, I think all of them are in here because they've all got teleports on. But yeah, this is kind of what this tab is. Um, I like to have my main runes at a glance when I load up my bank, like I said. Um, and also one thing I didn't have last year is the Master Scroll Book, which has all of my teleport scrolls in uh, because they take up so much room. So much room because I've, I've got, even I've bought more spots. I've still got a max bank. Uh, <laughs> but anyway... That's this tab. Moving on to the next one is our main one, our gear tab, which has changed dramatic, uh, dramatically, dramatically. Uh, didn't have a magma helm last time. Didn't have a technical whip. Um, de definitely didn't have a fury. We were still using the trimmed glory that you know it has served us very well. Recently, we got the eternal boots and also the pegasian boots. Um, we've upgraded our mage setup and our um, barrow setup sort of uh, melee barrows with uh, the Verax helm. Um, I don't think I had a fight at all so last time. I can't really remember on that. Uh, we did, definitely didn't have a Ring of Suffering. Uh, we've got now three books complete. No, four books. Four, five books completed. Jeez. Five books completed. Last time we didn't even have one. Um, what else we got in here? That's a rune crossbow with the ornament kit on from Trailblazer. Uh, and then there's a few miscellaneous bits and pieces down here that I used now and again. Um, but yeah, we definitely didn't have the items that I in, uh, like pointed out. I don't think we had the Ava's Assembler either. Um, yeah, <laughs> a lot of upgrades gone on here. And um, yeah, if you want to have a deeper dive on that, you can have a take screenshot or something. But rule of thumb is um, main melee gear um, and then Slayer stuff or main melee stuff as well. Uh, magic setup, um, range setup. And I've got my trident here. I probably should move it over either way. Uh, range set up here. Um, stuff kind of Slayer-ish stuff, like, you know, rock hammers. Uh, if I'm doing um, Nightmare Zone, you've got the rock cake. Uh, the fuel for the fire that is the tentacle whip that I literally only recently got. Um, then my arc light. Uh, I got a leaf bladed battle axe relatively recently as well. Uh, still haven't got something like a blowpipe, though. Still working on that. Still working on that. But we'll see from the collection of how well <laughs> Zolra has come along. Um, next one, food sources and pots. This is, you know, doubled in size compared to last time. I didn't have brews before because my um, herbal was so bad. I didn't have a cooking cape. Got a cooking cape now as well. Uh, we didn't have the tackle box last time either, and that saves so much space as well. Uh, like, if you look in here... Look at all those items that you can have store in there. Fantastic. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, deposit. There we go. Uh, the beer stack. Still looking a little bit low, but still enough to have a party. Um, yeah, nothing much more here. We we always got the constant battle of keeping prayer pots and super stills topped up, but um, I think we've managed to keep a bit more of a handle on that this uh, the kind of these days. Um, as well, because we have been doing our farm runs, been doing Kingdom, we're keeping that stocked up, which is good. Um, and it keeps fueling the fire that is me doing PVM, which we love to see. We love to see. But anyway, moving on to the next one because food's a bit boring. This is our um, wood cutting, fletching. Uh, what else we've got in here? I guess prayer as well, just because there's <laughs> nowhere else for them to go. A bit of construction, oh, well, construction as well. Um, this one hasn't changed much from like this row up, I guess. Maybe the addition of dragon bolts and maybe a few more of these dragon bits here. Um, but all of this stuff, I moved my prayer stuff in here um, maybe about six months ago. Um, and then all the construction supplies as well. But um, these log stacks are definitely a lot more uh, plentiful, should I say, than last time. Uh, I can't remember if we had the crystal saw last time. I'm not sure if we did. Um, we definitely had the dragon axe because I remember looking at my last video and seeing on my collection log for winter todd that i had the dragon axe but i actually got it from dk's um but yeah there's a a nice pool of resources here that um i probably should start making bowstrings for these bows because look how many i've got now there's 16 and a half thousand you <laughs> long bows cracky how much is that worth <laughs> 6.3 mil fair enough uh next tab is smithing mining crafting um, this one I don't think has changed maybe at all in setup, but it definitely has changed in the amount of resources that we have. Um, I did do a big crafting, uh, session recently where I got rid of all of my, um, uh, dragon hides and then I alked up. That's why I don't have many nature runes is because I alked up a lot of my, um, 
uh, items from from that. So like black dehydes and bodies and legs from the other ones. Um, yeah, got a lot of supplies for smithing. Probably should use those soon. Uh, and also a lot of supplies for making um, bolts that I need for uh, things like Chambers of Zeric. So ruby and uh, diamond bolts is what I use for a lot of the PVM uh, that I do. Uh, the other ones are just there for, you know, for crafting XP, but yeah, those two are the main ones. It's nice to see that we you get so many from raids. It's ridiculous. And Slayer as well for diamonds, that is, and I guess rubies too. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what I mainly use those for. Um, I do need to do a big crafting grind soon because I do want to get that 99 relatively soon as well because the teleport on that cape is insane. Um, so that's one thing that I'll definitely be working towards. Next tab, this one has changed probably the most in setup. Uh, I used to just have all of my cleaned herbs at the top but now i've got the uh the dirty ones because they're dirty dirty and um my cleaned ones as well because where kingdom dumps everything into your bank um i've just got the placeholders for all of the herbs that i, I it will just auto go straight into uh the slots i've also moved my main um seeds from doing herb law into here as well and uh, we've then got some kind of shit here um pots that i keep in here and then secondaries secondaries are looking kind of stocked up ish um if i just need to make pots at, you know at a glance um but uh yeah they're definitely not i'm gonna go and grind herb lord to 99 kind of esque in here at the moment but um that's fine that's fine i've got i've got a decent herb lord i think it's 83 or something like that uh, at the moment um so I'm not too worried about that. But at some point, we will need to stock up. We will need to get grafting and uh, get 99 in herb lore. Or at least 90, because then we can make top-tier overloads at, at chambers. Um, but anyway, moving on. Uh, the farming one isn't as kind of plentiful as what it used to be, mainly because I've moved the main stuff into this tab. And uh, a lot of it is in the uh, seed vault as well. Um Main ones that I keep in here, bloody palm tree seeds, papaya tree seeds, and calcot seeds. If you follow what I do with Zolra and any sort of PVM, these three bastards always seem to pop up and ruin my day. Uh, and then I've just got a few seeds here from when I've just dumped them in from doing Slayer, uh, and they've gone into the seed tab. Not really much to write home about here. Um, I've got 14 watering cans. I don't know. <laughs> this one's a bit of a boring one because farming is a snooze fest. But anyway, moving along. The collection tab, I guess. A um, lot more purple sweets, I think, than we had last time. Um, also a lot more uh, dragon stuff in here that, than last time. And the main thing is that we've now nearly completed the Barrows log. And uh, I think before maybe you had like four extra items in here. Now look at it. And now look at all those bloody frames and blister pieces that we <laughs> got as well from doing um, the Zenite uh, grind. Um it's kind of mad. Uh, but yeah, we've got a lot of the nice f clue items in here as well. Um, look at all those dehyde boots as well. <laughs> Something mad. Uh, I used to have I used to have one of every armor type. So where you can see here, I've got all of this rune stuff. I used to have that for black, mithril, and adamant. Um, but then I condensed it down because I don't really need a lot of it. And now, especially that I've got the quest cape, um, I was like, hmm, maybe I need some of these items for quests. I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I guess the main thing now is for clues, but I'm slowly working on uh, completing all of the stash units. Um, I think I've just got Masters, Elites, and a few Hards to do. Um, and then, you know, I can then start binning off a lot of this shit that I don't need. Um, but storing things in sets really, really does help with keeping your bank smaller. Um, this stuff's all a bit boring. Uh, I've got the banners from um, the previous leagues. I do have the um, twisted one, but it's currently in my house. Uh, I've got a spare Vorky he uh, head, uh, Abyssal head, uh, a spare big... Is that a spare one? I might just have the one. Uh, but I definitely have two big sharks um, as well. Here we can see like, I've stored up the party hats and the Halloween mask into sets. Just reduces down a little bit. Same with the um, Book of Balance. I've, I've had that set twice now uh, and well two and a half times i should say and uh just stored that up in um in a, in a in a page set that you can do at the grand exchange it's really easy to do it doesn't cost you anything uh spare pegasian crystal that i recently got last episode on the uh dead smithy progression series um that i just haven't found a home that's a bit higher up yet um spare black mask um yeah yeah i mean it's not as impressive what it used to be because i do store a lot of um 
a lot of these items in the house, which we'll go and have a look at in a bit. Uh, and then the last tab is just crap. So, um, yeah, nothing special here. Nothing special here. But, yeah, that's that's kind of my bank. Um, nothing really more there. Last look at kind of this tab, which has some really nice items in there. Um, but, um, yeah, I think what we'll do now is I'll grab my room pouch. We'll have a quick look at the seed vault um, and see what we've got in here. Um, so we've got, like, nearly, <laughs> nearly 11 mils worth of seeds in here. We're just quickly scrolling through. Uh, I tend to keep all bar my main herb run uh seeds in here um just be and also the the seeds that i'd use for like birdhouse runs or the seaweed spores um look at all these tree seeds man uh, i think i've got like 97 farming banked or something like that and that's without you know doing any tithe farm or anything like that um 12 for seeds still ready to go and then all of these saplings here as well um i don't like farming um i hate the fact that you're kind of constricted to like time um because you never know when you're going to be playing realistically and the fact that they can die and yeah it's kind of all a bit of pain in the ass but <laughs> uh, we do have a lot of resources for um for uh farming but i think now i mean the seed vault is nothing really to write home about it's just cool to see i think now if we head over to the player owned house so teleport over uh we still only have the one pet by the way, uh, which is the Phoenix. I've had the Phoenix twice, but that's the only pet that I've had um, on the account. Uh, where's all my tiles gone? I did have some tile marks out in here, like uh, when I got my Phoenix. Uh, I don't know. Weird. Uh, anyway, uh, it might be where I've started doing stuff on the new account, the Tarman account. But anyway, 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 anyway. The house has changed a little bit. You know, we've got a lot more portals in here, and um, I don't know if we had the altar last time. But um, if we run over here, we'll go to the store. Look, there's my there's my leagues one. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We've got banner. We've got this leagues outfit. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's let's move over here um, into the storage room. So fancy dress box. We're still hunting for that stale baguette. Woo! Uh, beekeeper outfit. I don't think was a thing last time. Uh, toy box, this is full up with everything from the, all the events, so make sure that I do all the events so it keeps this one full um, cape rack we'll get onto the treasure chest cape rack, uh, I probably could get uh, another fire cape to store in here and um, another hit points cape and I haven't got a spare quest cape in here I don't think, oh, I do, yeah I do um, yeah, just quickly going through that. What I don't like is that the fact you can't store every single wilderness cape. You can only store one, which is weird. Um, Jagex, get on that. Let me store all my wilderness capes so I can <laughs> feel like I'm accomplishing something in life. Um, <laughs> not that that's really an accomplishment. Um, but yeah, we've you know got a few bits and pieces stored in here. Like I said, I do really want to complete the house and store. Literally fill up every single slot. Uh, magic wardrobe. Uh, this one, I think, is coming a little bit more since last time. Uh, I've started on the carpenter's outfit. Um, ghostly robes I didn't have last time because I got that when I was doing my quest cape. Uh, I probably should start working on getting all the graceful sets, but that sounds like pain. Um, lunar robes didn't have last time. Mystic robes, you know, we're working on the sets. I can't remember where I put the hat and the gloves. I think I used them for a clue scroll or something. I don't know. Uh, I can get those back really easily. You just buy them. Um, Mystic Road sets. Haven't got the boots or the hat yet. Haven't got any of the Dusk set from um, the Brimstone Keys. Uh, light set. Still need a few pieces on that. Ah, that was it. I made the Mystic Robe Shattered Relic. So that's the ornament kit. So I took the a set from here and put it in here. Yeah, whatever. You get the gist. Um, yeah, haven't got any of the items from uh, God into the Rift yet. Uh, Pyromancer set. It's part of the skeletal, um, worn gloves. Yeah, you know, there's a few bits and pieces in here. There's the first bit, the cool bit, like the ancestrals. I haven't got any of them, and I haven't had any ceremonial robes from next yet either, which uh, is a bit of a pain in the ass. even though I've done quite a few KC. Anyway, armor case. Didn't have that last time because didn't have my quest cape. That's currently in my tackle box. I don't think I had that last time. Uh, definitely had that because I've had that years uh what else we got clue hunter corrupted armor i got that uh probably about eight months ago uh full ham set i'm working on getting part of the farmer's outfit because i need it for a clue scroll um i probably should do these at some point they're quite easy to get 
Uh, let me check out for Morner, Mor- Morner's gear. <clears throat> I didn't have that last time because you have to do the quest. I've got the obsidian legs. I haven't bothered with the other bits yet. Um, just because lazy. Uh, <laughs> uh, the ornate armor, which is really cool set that you get from doing. I've I've got a guide on that, and I've got a guide on corrupted armor as well. If you want to watch that, they're on my channel. Um, we've got that in the bank. I'm not going to do the other bits yet because that mini game is fucking awful. Um, Prospector's outfit, rock shell, rogue outfit, the tier two shattered relic um, set as well. Uh, the Shazian armor. I now store this in here because it just takes up so much play room. Uh, a lot of snake skin. Um, and then the Shattered Relics, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, uh, Void set. We've got all of that. Uh, probably at some point should replace the other bits, but I don't really fancy doing pest control. <laughs> uh, and then we've got the White Knight armor that we got for doing the Falador Hard Diary, I think it is, that you need all that shit for. Uh, and then we've got the Zerushian armor down here as well. Uh, now, moving on to the final part, which is the treasure chest, which is lovely jubbly. Uh, beginner stuff. Uh, we nearly... D- I've got the shoulder parrot. I just need to finish the sandwich lady set and the bare feet. Uh, I think I've done like uh, 200 odd beginner clues, something like that. Uh, easies. You know, we've got a fair few items here now. Uh, some of these blessings I've just got in the bank because I use them for when we're doing God Wars or if I'm in doing spiritual beings or creatures, what are they called? Um, yeah, we've got a fair few point, like things in here. You know, I think we're kind of at like the halfway mark, I think, with uh, easy clues. Mediums, again, there's a few items here like Ranger Boots and the Spike Manacles and stuff like that that I keep in the bank because they bring up the value of the bank. Um, yeah. Like the holy sandals, they're definitely in my bank. Um, Ranger boots, spike manacles, they're in there. Uh, haven't got a pair of whizzy boots yet, but um, oh shit, there we go. Uh, yeah, I really do like all the clue scroll, clue scroll rewards. If I can get my words out, um, I think it just looks so sick. Uh, none of the third age pieces yet. Um, there's the old faithful, the glory trim T4. Love that piece. Um, that's that's been a game changer for this account. Um, all of the um, uh, uh, blessed dehydes is in my bank. Um, again, I could move it over here when I get uh, a bit, uh, when I get the Pegasians, uh, not Pegasians, sorry, Primordials. Uh, I'll be putting my uh, trimmed D boots in here. I've got loads of spares of pairs of D boots now. Um, I'll be putting the uh, gold ones in there. They're just kind of a nice flex when you're running about. Um, I think I've got. All of the boots bar the Bandos ones, I think. I might not have the ancient ones. That might be on the leagues. But either way, got a lot of them, uh, but they're just not in here. I haven't got... I think I've got an Armadil shield. Do I? Maybe not. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I've got any of the shields yet. Um, got a load of random bits of rune armor. And uh, yeah, that's hard clues, elite clues. Don't think we have anything. No, nothing in here. Uh, I think I do have one piece that's come from this, uh, but I think it's in. Or maybe I've just lost the plot. No, I don't think I do. <laughs> I've lost the plot. Confirmed. I've lost the plot. But we do have one master clue, and that is the half moon spectacles, which are really cool. Um, yeah, but there's some really, really... Uh, I've got the Fremi legs, actually, but they're in the bank. I think that was the hard piece. I can't remember where they go. But anyway, uh, jumping onto here uh, for the actual overview of stats. We're 118 combat now, 119, 1990 uh, total level, 128 and a half mil total XP. Um, that'll be, you know, all quests completed again soon. Achievements, uh, we've got 62 to do. Combat tasks, we've got 108 done, and collection logs got 407 out of the 1,395 uh, things. But anyway, let's quickly go through some of the main ones. So obviously we started doing Cerberus recently, and that's been really good to us. Barrows, I mean, we just need three items. Uh, can we get them sub 1,000, KC? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Mole, not really done much since last time. We were 25 last time. Um, KBD, started doing quite a bit of that. Kraken, we're getting close, just need the pet. We've got 1,200 KC. Uh, Nex, haven't seen fuck all, and we've got 204 KC. Uh, Seracnis, still hunting that bloody cudgel. 
still hunting that casual with 322 KC there. Scatizo, 17 KC, Temporos. Yeah, we just need the pet and the tome. Uh, Vorkath, 62 KC, two heads, because the one that you get 50 and one that you you know just get randomly as a drop. You know, um, did a few more Winter Todd this year, not really much, maybe like 20 KC, still no tome. Zolcano, we're working on that. We've got 57 KC there. Zolra, now this is the one. 348 KC, we've now got the Mutagen, Magic Fang, Visage, and uh, I think we got a non... Did we get an Onyx there? I think the Onyx was there. But we haven't got, you know, the, the Jorah Swamp, the uh, Tanzanite, or the uh, Fang. Or the pet, obviously, because I don't get pets, because my r- luck is shit. Um, Chambers. I'm not, I do really enjoy doing chambers, but I can only do a couple at a time or when um, like mates are free to do stuff. Um, but yeah, still only the Elder Maul. Uh We've had an hour, a couple of Dark Relics and a few Bog Rolls with the Torn Press Rolls. Theatre of Blood, still only the one in, uh, easy one. Uh, clues, we've got 13 out of 16 on Beginners, 31 out of uh, 131, uh, 45 out of 115 on Mediums. Hards, 34 out of, uh, out of 134. Elites, 2 out of 59, uh, which that is the Dragon Full Helm Ornament Kit, which can't do fucking anything with that yet. Masters, 1 out of 49, which is the Glasses, and then Hard Trails, none. Elite Treasure Trails, none. The Rare Ones, and none for that. Shared, with 46 out of 49, we just need the Zamorak Page 3, but a Holy Blessing, and the Peaceful Blessing as well. And then we're, we're all good there. Mini games, uh, I'm not going to click through those. You don't care about those. <laughs> or do you? <laughs> um, miscellaneous, I guess that's a nice one to look at. You know, we've had a few bits and pieces here and there with this. Um, Revenants, ooh, I haven't looked at this. Yeah, that's not bad. Not. Um, that is a horrible log. I hate this log because it took me like that many kills to get that first Zenite, and I hate it. I don't want to go back. I've got a Black Demon's task at the moment. I can't be asked. But anyway, uh, <laughs> that, it, it'll actually, stash unit. Oh, this is a good one. Here we go, stash unit. Uh, all the beginners done. All the easies done. Yeah, all the mediums done. All the hards nearly done. Got one, two, three left. Elites, done a couple of those. Masters, haven't done any of those because I think I'm only on like my one or two master clues. But anyway. I'm going to leave it there because now I've rambled for about, I think about 20 odd minutes, which I usually do anyway, but this has just been continuous dribble from my mouth. But um, I hope you guys enjoy these bank videos. I think they're a nice way to, I would say round off a year, but it's May. Um, <laughs> normally I would do these at the beginning of the year, but we were busy with leagues, so um, I kind of delayed it a bit. But um, I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do drop a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new around here as well. Um, let me know in the comments section down below what things you'd like to see me work on for the next year. What bosses you'd like to see me do. What th- items do you think I should add to the account as well or work on trying to get into the account. Um, and drop down below. Um, do your do your uh, farm run, Smithy. Just put do your farm run, Smithy. Just put that down below as well. Um, but yeah, I'm going to love you and leave you. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, next week, there will be a usual Dead Smithy episode. We'll be back to the grind on Dead Smithy. Um, and uh, also look out for the Tarman vi- videos as well. They've been going up. Um, so Dead Smithy, Sundays, 6 p.m. Tarman, Tuesdays, definitely 6 p.m. And then potentially another episode throughout the week because... Yeah, we're we're moving in a groove with that account. We've uh, where we're lower level. It's it's uh, it's nice progression on that account. So um, look out for all the videos. Follow me on Twitter. Uh, come join the Discord as well. And uh, shout out to all of our channel members. And I can't memorize them anymore because we've had a few more people sign up for the membership program. And thank you massively for that. Uh, shout out to Steve, Super Beef, Maid, AJ, Will, Helena, Cushy, Thamescape, Rayleigh, and Chair. Thank you all for the support through the membership program. It really does mean the world. And um, there's a new emote now as well that you can use that you can spam in the comments. So if you uh, if you are a member, spam the um, Smithy Sup. Uh, it's me as a Teletubby, uh, <laughs> as you do. But um, anyway, if you're interested in that, there's a join button down below that you can get some more information. And um, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.